Is there a way to undo this? Hey, oh. How are y'all doing? My name is Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about uh, a dating app. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about, as a software engineer, I, I'm on apps and I see things and I'm like, why? So we're gonna talk about some nuances I have about this app. You probably don't know, but I have been on dating apps. Some are complete garbage. Uh, but today we're gonna be talking about an app called BLK. It's an app specifically geared towards black singles. And so you don't have to be black to be on the app. If you want to date somebody who's black, then you can get on the app yourself, you know, and you're not black, then you can make that happen for yourself. Um, it doesn't discriminate. I wanted to get into my initial thoughts on this app, and then we're gonna go into some nuances that have been annoying for me on this app. We're gonna talk about some tips for improvement, just in case anybody from BLK that develops this app is somehow listening. Hello to you, if you are. Uh, and then we're gonna get into, you know, final reactions. Will I use this? So let's get started, shall we? I'm actually navigating with my phone. So if you see me on my phone, I'm just navigating. So this is what you get on the app. Um, you have a profile section. You can, my profile's off, oh, by the way, and this is also for uh, purposes of this video so uh, my profile's off so you could turn it off and on your profile it's a pretty standard feature most uh, things have it then there's a like section which we'll come back to later and then here's messages so you could message people um, and all of this is blurred out for privacy reasons obviously so when I turn my profile on you can get boosted and all this other stuff but um, you can, here you go. So here's the app. It's just literally you, you view a person and you have to like decide right away. Like if you go through this person's profile, you, you scroll up to continue on as indicated by these dots in the corner right here. Um, and then you just continue to scroll, scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. And they have like a description. They have a you know, different other things. You'll notice these icons at the bottom, which we will talk about soon. But yes, this is just a brief overview of this app. Uh, you can click on it and then kind of scroll through the pictures that way. Um, so if you wanted to do that, you can also do like this or do like this. If you want to swipe right, swipe left, either way you want to go. Uh, so yeah, so that exists basic functionality. Right. Initial thoughts are, wait a minute, I have to pay to see who likes me? I literally go to the likes page and if I wanna see who likes me, literally clicking that button, it says, oh yes, pay us money. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> One thing I noticed is this algorithm that they're using, it seems to be just like a numbers game just to, cause you don't have any other inclination of who likes you or if someone likes you besides if they've super liked you like if they've super liked you then it'll display in the corner as you see here but if not then i have no way of knowing that anyone liked me so i can't what i'm trying to say is i can't see who liked me and till i've liked them back but what if i never liked them back then what happens so uh, it's weird Honestly, I've been on so many of these apps that I'm just like, this is a weird feature that I don't think should exist because I would like to see who liked me. So it seems to me like if you swipe right enough times, you'll eventually match with somebody, which to me is super annoying. And I think that should be tweaked a little bit so you don't have to continuously, it, it just becomes, people can just be at their desk, just like swipe, 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 and it's just, What's the point, right? So another thing I notice, um, most people don't even use this app. Like I'll might message somebody and let me see if I could find one. So these are all the people that I've messaged. And again, I have kind of blurred out a lot of the things, but I, let's just say I've messaged people and they've not messaged me back or I've, you know, like somebody and then I never hear from them. <laughs> so it's like, 
did they not match with match with me or are they just not on this app and they don't know that I'm sitting in their inbox so it would be nice to know like what's happening there the location says approximately how far away this person is from you so if you're scrolling through here on their uh, profile it'll you know as you're scrolling through their match list it'll say okay this person is 10 miles away this only becomes a problem when location is turned off by the user so if the user doesn't realize that you have to make adjustments to your settings then they won't know and the only reason I figured this out is because somebody had messaged me and they were like 30 miles away or something and then I looked again at their profile and they said they were like further away and it's because this guy you know he drives trucks for a living and so at the time he was in a different state but he actually lives here but I wouldn't know that otherwise you know so it I feel like a location itself would be better uh, like a general area would be nice if you're someone who doesn't understand how applications work then you aren't gonna realize that you're sharing your location or you're not sharing your location because you could hop on this app for the weekend that you're here and then you leave and you're back in your state, but you never change your settings. You understand what I'm saying? So that could be a thing. And now if you're always sharing your location to the app, it's not a big deal. But for someone like me, I do not always share my location. I give it once and that's it. And for me, I'm not going anywhere else. So it makes sense. But some people may not understand that. The about me section. Most people don't put stuff there. Uh, so <laughs> some people put their, their social media handles on there. They say, hey, catch me on the snap. And I'm like, I'm not on Snapchat. Or they'd be like, hey, I'm on the Instagram catch me on the gram and I'm like yeah I'm not doing that it's interesting how people are using this section it's supposed to be like a description and people are just putting nothing the very least or social media handles there are some people that actually fill it out I appreciate those people because then I could really get a sense of what's happening here so let's move on to the matching section the matching profile section which I have a lot of problems with so here are just some buttons uh, on the screen of what the options are, okay? So let's just go through it. First button is the person with the half arrow on it. And that means you can go back and check somebody out. Um, and you could change your mind. Like if you swipe left or right, or right and you're like, oh man, I want to change my mind about this person. You can, you know, do that if you press that button. But if you press that button, it'll also tell you this, <laughs> go premium, and then you can see that button, that functionality. So again, a lot of things just cost money. Uh, the next button is the X. The X means that you want to swipe left on this person. It's not a match. Eh, makes sense. The crown, I accidentally used it, and the profile whooshed to the right, which meant that I really liked this person, which wasn't the case for that person. So I was like, whoops. <laughs> okay, the next button is that orange heart. That orange heart is like, you swipe right, and then hopefully you match with that person. So it's basically saying, I like this person. So it's a different way to do it besides moving your screen like this that's it uh, so ideally like this would mean I like this person and it also tells you in the corner in the the top corner it has a heart and then this way it has an X so but if you're not paying attention you're not gonna notice that and then the last button is the little lightning bolt the little purple lightning bolt and allows you to pay to boost your profile so if you want to boost your profile then you can pay them money and you're met with this screen and you can do that okay so um what i don't like is the fact that most of these features you have to pay for but the most thing that i do not like is the fact that maybe it was just unbeknownst to me but i did not know what three of those meant so 
I just tested them out because I was just using the app and I was like, uh. <laughs> so I didn't know exactly what those things meant and I had to test them in order to, to figure out what they were actually for. It would be nice if there was like some kind of knowledge section or, you know, something that popped up and says, hey, if you do this, then it's boosting your profile. But you don't know unless you try the buttons first. One thing that I also don't like about this interface is like, oh shit, I accidentally like some. See, I'm sorry. Oh Lord, I feel bad. Oh my gosh. Is there a way to undo this? Oh gosh. So one thing I don't like um, is you have about 500 characters to tell somebody something about yourself. You can also talk about what your current job is. You can, you know, say what school you went to. You can give a birthday and um, you can give your gender and it looks like you can actually specify your gender if it's not listed Anyways, here. Here's some tips for improvement. Let's just move to the next section because this is crazy. So one of the things I have on here is more prompts. Can we tell, can I tell you more about myself, please? I need more than 500 characters, okay? And I would like to tell you, like, not necessarily like, more about me but i kind of wish they were like fun prompts like the best vacation i've ever taken was uh one thing i've never done but would like to do is but we can't do this there's not enough space the second thing is can you show us some more people who've liked us again i have 99 plus likes I can't see any of these people. Just show me like a few of them. And then if I want to see all of them, maybe then present me with an elite membership. Um, the interface itself is pretty sensitive. So like I just did before when I accidentally swiped right on somebody and I didn't mean to, that happens more than you know, which is I'm assuming why we have this go back and look button. But at the same time, I just, I feel like just make it less sensitive. I don't know if that's the way you can do that, but I don't know, make that happen. So overall, is this an app that I would want to continue to use? Have I continued to use it? I'm gonna be honest with you. I have not continued to use it. Um, as you may have seen when I first jumped on here, my, pro my profile was paused. So I haven't been on this thing, but I plan to delete it as soon as I'm done with this video. <laughs> so Unfortunately, it is not an app that I want to continue to use. A lot of things you have to pay for. The interface does not really um, appeal to me. There's a lot of things that you can't use. Um, and there's just some things that are very sensitive about it that may cause me to make mistakes. Like, oops, didn't mean to do that. Gotta erase it. So the answer is going to be no for me. But honestly, you know, it's not a bad app. I just think that there is lots of room for improvement and let's see if they make improvements in the future. I probably won't revisit the app. I don't know. No one can say for sure. Anyways, thank you if you've stuck to the end of this video and you've listened to me complain about this app for X amount of time. I very much greatly appreciate you. If you want more videos like this with me like reacting to things, uh, the apps that I use, or that I'm trying out, give this video a like and we'll make that happen for you. Thank you so much for walking, wa walking? You didn't walk anywhere. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care of yourself and be kind to others and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, y'all.